morning. Good morning. Hello, everybody. As I said, I'm Jay Poe. I'm the owner and artist of the Purple Posey. I'm a content creator for Dixie Bell, and I am a um, coach and a mentor for my private membership group. So, hey, welcome, everybody. So today, I'm going to be painting um, kind of a blended farmhouse type of look um, for you guys. And I've pulled, um, I've pulled some of uh, the Dixie Dirt and the Voodoo Gel Stain and... Well, that's it. Because I can't decide um, what I want to use in these little crevices here. So we're just going to get started here pretty quick. The colors I'm going to be working with today are Fluff, um, which is a real kind of a soft, soft gray white. And then I got um, French linen here, real pretty gray. And I also brought out um, a transfer, one of the new transfers, the Bells and Whistles line that's going to be coming out. Um, sometime this month, the um, Magnolia Garden. I don't know if I want to use this or not, but it's out here. So once I get it painted, I can kind of stare at it and decide what I want to do. As always, I'll have I have my handy dandy mini flat mini brushes and my water bottle. You've got to have your water bottle ready when you're going to do some blending today. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, so let's just get started. I'm, I decided I was going to work my way this way and then come that way, but I decided I'm going to start on this door and we're going to work on this door. Let's get started. Um, we are going to, what did I do on the other side? So I'm going to come in first with my French linen and we're just going to go for it. So kind of the concept I'm going for is the, the base of the piece is going to be French linen and I'm just lightening up the centers on the doors and the drawers and kind of the sides I'm painting over this little plate here because i just did not feel like taking it off but there's knobs that i'll figure out what to do later with them all right i'll quit gabbing away i'm just gonna get my paint ready they're all shook up and let's get them open is anybody painting with me today what projects is everybody working on y'all let me know Y'all let me know what you're doing, what's going on. Spring is near. There's a lot of um, happy, bright colors that I'm seeing coming out from people. So y'all let me know. Hey, hey, hey. I see y'all. I see you guys. All right. So before I start painting, I always lightly mist my brush. It's not soaking wet. It's just very, like, it's just a little bit damp. And let's go. Let's go. So this is French linen. I cleaned the piece really, really well with, um, with white lightning. And then I rinsed with vinegar water. And I actually, um, when I clean my pieces, I actually use a finishing pad to scrub them real well. I took a little video when I was cleaning it to do like a little TikTok, a little TikTok for you guys on how I clean my furniture. So that's how it's been prepped. The, um, I did the sides already just to kind of make sure I had my color concept the way I wanted it. And um, it is, it's exactly what I want. It's exactly what I envisioned. I've been, I did just, um, I'm gonna debut a really colorful boho piece. The next two pieces I do um, put out there for you guys. And so I thought I'd go a little bit more neutral, change it up a little bit. And as much as I don't like it so much, Farmhouse still sells right now, and Boho is kind of tricky to sell in some areas, including mine. So that's why I decided I was just going to go with a bo uh, Farmhouse type of style today. This is a really pretty and super long. This thing is like 77 inches long. It is huge. I couldn't even get it in my studio, so I'm in my living room. Um, Real pretty, like, uh, it's a Drexel, I believe. I saw in the, in the drawers when I was cleaning them. This is just the base coat. So we're getting our base coat on. And this is how I generally check to make sure I've got my color palette the way I want it and how I'm envisioning it in my head. And if I don't like it on the base coat, I can change it up on the second coat. And I'm just going to show you guys how I blend. Everybody blends a little bit different. Um, and there's no right or wrong way to do it. So 
So today we're just going to see how I do it. If y'all have any questions at any point, y'all please feel free to drop them in the comments. Dixie Bell should be on. They can answer for you. Or I'll come back and check them myself. Um, and while I'm getting this on, there's a link there for you guys. It should be pinned to the top. If you click on that link, it'll take you directly to the fluff. But you can use that link to find a retailer near you. If you do not have one, you can order from that link and it helps my small business. And I appreciate you for doing so. So use that link. Um, see, see what you just can't live without. Get you some product ordered. And get to creating. Play in the paint. All right, we're getting close to where we can start blending. I really want to get to, um, we'll probably just do this door. Because I really want to get to either the dirt or the voodoo. I still don't know what I'm going to do. And get that on there just to see how it looks. So this has got a lot, a lot of detail in it. I don't know if you guys can see down here, but yeah, you can see. It's got a lot of detail in it. And so I want to make that pop a little bit, plus these right here. And then what I can do on the little knobs is, you know, I can just go over it with the French linen and just basically do the same thing. Just, you know, hold it and do what I do on my piece. I just didn't know initially when I took them off if I was going to blend the center. Well, I mean, I'm going to blend the drawer drawers also, but it makes it easier when the, the little knobs are off. Okay, so I, I worked my way in because when you blend, you need your paint to be wet. So I needed this to be wet because we're going to blend the center of this door. So I've got that on. I'm just going to mist it lightly. And where's my other brush? I'm going to grab my other mini. And we're going to come in with some fluff. I'm trying very hard to be a good painter today and not make a mess. My house is selling. We finally under contract and I don't want to get paint all over the living room floor. I never use a drop cloth. <laughs> so I'm being a good girl today. Being a good girl. All right, we're, so, we're just gonna swirl this on, kind of get it in the center, like so. Now, here's a couple of options that you can do here. Once you get it on the center, and this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my French linen brush mist again and then i'm going to come in and blend or you can take what's called like a neutral brush so basically it's a dry brush that you haven't used and you can come in and do the same thing to where your brain your brush is not like contaminated i guess you can say with the other paints so my blending is not perfect and i i don't care I, i'm okay with that I don't pretend that I'm like the best blender in the whole world, but this is how I blend. This, my soft, my soft blended edges are a little bit different than everybody else. When you feel your paintbrush start to drag, you need to spritz with water. I can feel it drag. So I'm gonna go diagonal. I'm gonna go this way. And then I'm gonna grab just a tiny bit of French linen back around this way typically I don't um, change my brushes when I blend but since this is like a you know it's a really kind of a bright not a bright white cotton is the brightest white that Dixie Bell has but um, this is gray to white I figured I should probably go ahead and change my brush there Okay, so that's a pretty good, um, it's a pretty good start. I'm just gonna wet my brushes real good, real, real quick. I'm gonna heat gun this and we'll come in with our second coat and then we'll get to the really kind of the fun stuff. All right, we're gonna come back in with our second coat. I'm gonna grab my French linen brush again. Um, I'm not completely, I don't have my brush just like super loaded. That's about how much I have on there. You wanna see both? Interesting. Let me think about that. And we'll come in with our second coat here. The top of this piece is in really good shape, which is very rare for me to find a piece that the top is like almost perfect. I'm almost thinking about, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> and I may come live to do it. 
There's a few little pieces, little chunks there that are, you know, whatever. But I'm kind of thinking about put, putting the um, no paint gel stain over it without completely sanding it down. Did you guys know that you can do that? It's kind of where my head's going, but I'm not 100% sure yet. If I do that, I will come live probably on my page and show you how I do that. Because, like I said, you can do it. Well, not very many people know that. You don't have to completely sand it down. I'm gonna get in the way for a second, hang on. I gotta see that little lip there. Also, it doesn't help that my living room is, a, is a, my, like the main area is like a thousand square foot, literally like nine, 982 or something. And I have like 20 foot vaulted ceilings, so my voice is probably echoing everywhere. I'm so sorry. Dirt, hi from Italy. Voodoo. You can't give hearts or thumbs up? Well, I'm glad you're trying. Thank you. Thank you. You might come out, you might go out of the video and then come back in. Maybe that'll help. But it's the thought that counts, right? I appreciate you. I know you're trying, so that's all I need. I need some hearts today. It's been a, it's been a crazy couple weeks here, here at the Posey household. All right, getting in the way, hang on. Just trying to get this little crevice here or that. This is super pretty. I think, I don't know, and I'm trying to decide, I might use the gemstone mousses, um, probably the diamond, since this is a gray, gray tone type of piece to accent the um, hinges there. Can't decide. Has anybody tried, have y'all tried the gemstone mousses? They are super duper cool. They have such amazing coverage. You literally, one coat is all you need. And um, you just let it um, dry real well, buff it, and you're golden, you're good to go. It's a really amazing product. I encourage you to check that out while you're on the website. Looking for your retailer ordering your products, what have you. Probably need more. I'm gonna get more on my brush. And I'm just misting as I go, misting my brush as I go. That's another thing you can do. If you're not comfortable with, um, you know, you're controlling your spray or your mist, you can mist your brush instead to keep your paint wet. Doesn't take a lot. Doesn't take a lot. I hope you guys, can y'all see? Yep. Okay. Probably should have checked that earlier, huh? Yeah, I see it's my brush. I'm trying to get into these little crevices here. I know that the dirt or the voodoo, whatever we decide, is gonna do great. It's gonna really show once we get it on there. Y'all let me know, I don't have a clock in here that I can see. Y'all let me know if I start to go too long. I don't wanna get in trouble. Just kidding, I won't get in trouble. I just don't wanna go too long. I don't wanna bore you guys. All right, so now I'm getting, the, getting close to where we're gonna start blending, so I'm gonna keep this paint. I don't want it dripping, but I'm gonna keep it wet as I go. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. You probably, if you're starting out with blending, it might be easier to start with a round, like the large oval brush, to do a blend like this. Uh, but like I said, I'm not super picky about having like a flawless blend because, <coughs> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> What I'm also gonna do, um, with the, along with the dirt and the possible transfers, is I'm gonna do, um, I have this little technique that I stumbled on a couple of years ago, 
uh, photo stressing and I use my, my uh, putty knife to do that. So it's going to have almost a distressed look anyways and worn and weathered type of thing. If I put the transfers on here, I may, you know, take a little rad pad and scuff it back a little bit. I don't know 100% sure what I'm gonna do, but I do know I don't want it to be just two colors blended in and calling it good. I'm gonna do something extra, because sometimes I like to be extra. Anybody else? Can anybody else relate? Sometimes you like to be extra. Okay, so we got a good amount of white on there. I'm gonna mist. I'm going back to my French linen brush and I'm gonna start feathering. I need to add a little bit more, just a tiny bit more. Not enough. I'm gonna start feathering. A diagonal. Diagonal again. My arm's gonna fall off. It's okay. If you're a first time blender also, don't be discouraged if it takes, like if you have to go back and forth, because I'm gonna probably go back and forth here as well uh, with your brushes and your colors, don't get discouraged. Sometimes you just have to, and sometimes you'll get it on the first try. It takes practice. And it really depends also a lot on the colors that you're using, how well they blend together or how easy they are to blend together. Usually um, shades or colors in the same you know, family are much easier to blend together than if you're trying to do like a blue and orange, which I've tried to do and I literally threw my brush across the room on a live in my <laughs> membership group. I got so frustrated. It's doable, it's just really hard and I just didn't have patience that day. <laughs> But if you're gonna start trying to blend, I would start with colors in the same family. You know, two shades of blue, um, you know, grays, something like that. So I think that's pretty good. Just a subtle, a subtle um, little thing there. Now, since I was flapping my paintbrush back and forth, I'm gonna come in and just re go over this just real quick. Real quick, cause it's gonna have a little bit of white on it. So I guess everybody survived Snowvid, that massive crazy snowstorm and winter storm that we had. It was awful. That's what everybody's calling it, I think. Snowvid. That's what I've heard it called. It's sleeting and cold here, but I'd rather it be that way than Yeah, you're you having trouble seeing again? Through your brush. I sure did. I threw my brush. Can you zoom in for a second? bring you in yeah I'll bring you in. it might be my curtains over there you know what let me shut let me shut my curtains hang on hold please maybe that helps does that help can you see the blend better now it's the camera We'll be in the dark, how about that? That's nice. Let me bring y'all in. How about this? So you can see the blend there. Will that work? Can y'all see a little bit better now? Hopefully you got the general concept um, as I was painting. It is the camera or the actual blend. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. Good. Okay, good. All right, so what did we decide? Dirt or voodoo? What did you guys decide? Y'all tell me. Y'all are y'all are uh y'all are running the show today. All right. Let's see what we're doing. Dirt, dirt, dirt. 
Voodoo, voodoo. Dirt. Brown paint? I'm going to use brown paint to, uh, you like the idea of both? Dirt, dirt, dirt. I don't know how I would do both, and I don't want to make a fool of myself on camera. That wouldn't be good. Um, it's super dark in here for me. I know you guys can see a little bit better, but I can't really see that well. Uh, let's do... Gosh. You know what? How about this? I'll do both. I'll demonstrate... I'll do dirt and then like voodoo or something how about that it's just one door if it looks really funky it doesn't matter I can paint over it but just to demonstrate how I would do both how about that will that work is that good for you guys let me put my glasses on okay so for the voodoo this is uh I grabbed tobacco road it's a brown it's a brown okay you like that? Thank you for the hearts. Okay, we'll do that so you guys can see. So you can see how I do both. All right, this is a water-based stain. All right, a water-based stain. And you just shake it up real well. I could go right in with my Voodoo gel stain if I wanted. Um, I can still wipe, uh, wipe it back a little bit, but it's easier to wipe back if you apply... Easy peasy spray wax first. So I have my easy peasy here. Okay, easy peasy spray wax. Hey, from Pennsylvania. You want to shake this up. Can y'all hear that? Until you can't hear the water anymore. Right? There's no more water. Never heard of these products. Can't wait to learn. <laughs> All right. So you can't hear any more water out of this, so I'm going to spray this down. Just a couple of couple of little squirts. And then I'm just going to take a uh, brush that I'm... Where's a little brush? Just a little flat, small. Kind of spread it out. I hope I have my baby wipes. I do. Okay. Whew. Scared me for a second. That doesn't seem like that's on there. A little bit more. We're going to spread this out a little bit. And what this does is it gives you kind of an initial seal of your paint. You know, that paint is real, um, like, porous. And it'll suck that voodoo gel stain right up. But like I said, you can you can erase it. You can, you can pull it back still. It just makes it a little bit easier if you've got that initial seal down. Okay, so now we've got the Easy Peasy on there. I'm going to dry it just a little tiny bit. Easy Peasy Spray Wax, if you leave it, it will dry in like 10 to 15 minutes on its own. I'm just going to blast this real quick. Okay. Um, then what I'm going to do, shake up my booty real well. I'm just going to pour it out on a plate like so. I don't need a whole lot. A little bit goes a long way. And then I'll just use the same flat small. My baby wipes ready. All right, now I'm going to load up my brush like that. And I'm going to come in. And apply it. Now since I have the wax down there as a barrier, I've got a little bit more time where I can apply more instead of working in really tiny small sections. If you're really worried about not being able to wipe it back, I've got a little bit more time since I've got that easy peasy there. But again, it's really not hard to wipe back if it's still wet. It's got to be wet still though. Make sure I get in all the little, all the places. Okay, like that. Just a baby wipe or you can take a, a wet rag or even a dry rag. I've got some dry rags here. I could probably wipe it back. Nope, I can't. Wet rag. 
don't try to smush your, um, you kind of want to have a flat approach to it because then you'll just wipe back everything in the little crevices. So I'm just kind of um, with a flattish type approach here, wiping it back, like right here. You can get the raised areas. Like so. See how easy that wipes back? Since I had that easy peasy. Need another one on there. I can clean up in here. And you just clean it up. You can leave as much as you want or wipe back most of it, whichever one you want. See now here, I didn't have the easy peasy, so it's a little bit more difficult to get off, but I'm still able to get it off. I just mainly sprayed this little arch here, okay? And I'll bring you guys in. How much time do the artists get? We get like, they want, you know, like 30, 45 minutes is a good amount of time. Um, so here's what we got here. A little bit dirty, right? A little bit dirty. Okay. Thank you for the hearts. Appreciate you. All right, let me shoot you down a little bit more, and we'll do the dirt. Okay. Let me spray my brush so it doesn't dry up on me. Makes it easier to clean later. All right, for the dirt. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Oh, I didn't even open this, I meant to open it. So for the dirt, I'm gonna come in first with um, Best Stain Wax in Clear. And I've got two rags ready to go to wipe all of the things back. Okay. Now this is what the dirt looks like. It's it's a super duper fine powdery substance like that. I mean, just like dirt. Now I'm gonna take my best stain wax in clear, right? Yeah, clear. It looks white. I was gonna wax a piece, but I think I'll try this trick. Oh, you're welcome. It looks white, but it's dry. I mean, it's what? It's clear. And I'm going to use, I just read somebody's comment and said what they said. I'm going to use the new La Petite brush that we've got. This works amazing um, for waxing. Um, she's one of, oh, you're so sweet, Donna. You're my favorite today. You win. You're my favorite. Um, this is great for waxing. It's really great for waxing. All right, so we'll come down here and we'll do this one. And then you guys can decide which one you like the best. And that's how I'll do the rest of the piece. Okay, so again, this looks white. It's, it's, uh, it's clear. See, you can see it's clear now. So I'm going to make sure and get, like I did with the Easy Peasy, get in all of the nooks and crannies. Okay. Then... I'm going to come in with a dry rag and just kind of wipe it back a little bit. I'm going to take my dirt. Let's see. I'm going to grab a French tip. This is a French tip brush. Dixie Belle offers all of these products. Dixie Belle offers. And then I'm going to tap it into the dirt like that. Yep, it's making a mess. Making a mess. They gotta deal with the mess in my paint studio anyways. It'll be all right. 
the floors are a little bit out of control. All right, so we've got it mushed in there. Now I'm going to take, look at that, I got dirt in my wax. A dry rag again, and I'm going to wipe it back. Now this gives you more of like a powder glaze type look. It's not so much like a grungy type of look. I mean, it is grungy, but it's more of a powder glaze type of look. And the more wax you put on there, the more it sticks. And I'm buffing at the same time, which is great. You can take, you can wipe back the, um, the raised areas if you want. You can do it with wax. I'm just using a baby wipe. So if I don't like, like this is too much right here, I just wipe it back a little bit. Or I can take my Easy Peasy or my Best Dang, either one, put it on a little shop towel and wipe it back that way. So long as your wax and everything hasn't completely dried, you can fix any uh-ohs that you make. Any uh-ohs that you make. I kind of like the dirt look. I think I kind of like it better than the voodoo. I need to get much over there. I think I like the dirt. And I don't, I've, I think I've used dirt one time. And I've got all of the colors. Do we like that? Let's bring you in. You guys probably can't see very well. Here's what the dirt gave us. So with Best Dang Wax, um, Judy, you apply it and you buff it within 15 minutes. Here's Voodoo. Here's a Voodoo. It looks, it looks very similar. And here's Dirt. Yeah? I think I like the Dirt. Because the Dirt gets, it gets all up in there. All up in there. Very dirty look. Okay? I think the Dirt wins. I think the dirt wins, guys. How long have I been on here? 35-ish minutes? All right. I won't bore y'all with anything else. We've got, we did the blending. We did the voodoo. We did the dirt. And I don't know if I told you, but this is dirt and charcoal. This was the dirt and charcoal that I used. Okay. Comes in these little, I love the dirt. I have one in my basement waiting to use it. Yeah, I have all the colors. I think I've only used uh, the Earth, I think is what I used. Um, it's a really cool product. No, you don't see a lot about it um, on these lives and stuff. So, all right, well, I hope you learned something. Use that link there um, to find your local retailer, like I said, and get some of these products. Any of these products that we talked about today, you can find them all on Dixie Bell's website, um, unless they're out of stock. And then you can click the notify thing, and it'll let you know when they're back in stock. Um, but you can find your local retailer. You can order these products, have them shipped to your door. Either way, if you don't, if you don't have a retailer, um, and then if you try this out, let me know. I would love to see it. Um, did you seal wax? Up? I will. I'll seal over it. So this piece, since it's a buffet and it'll probably see a lot of like traffic, um, I will. I'll probably gator hide the entire thing. I love gator hide so much, but I'll probably gator hide the entire thing. But yeah, this once this sets and dries for a good amount of time, probably a day at least. You can go in and you can top coat it. Or if you're super nervous, I've done this before. The first time I used the wax, I mean the dirt, after I put it on there, I spritzed it with my easy peasy just to kind of really get it in there. You don't really have to do that, but it's just an extra step if, you, if it makes you nervous, which is what I did the first time I used it. So anyways, if you guys have questions, you all drop them in the comments. Thank you all for the heart. Y'all are amazing. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified when new videos are posted. Also, I typically put out a blog to show how I finish these pieces of furniture. If you head on over to my website, thepurpleposy.com, and sign up for the mailing list, you'll get notified when those blogs are posted as well.